Hi, I'm Bryce, and I'd love to show you a slightly more advanced use of interactivity in the Animatron Editor, primarily using the Jump to Time action. As you can see from this example clip, Jump to Time grants you more control over what happens where and when. The interactive portions of this animation happen to be our buttons, so let's isolate and dissect one and see how it's constructed. I'll first select an animated button from my Layers panel, which happens to be our icebergs. I want to isolate the button and its animated contents, so I'll simply click on its layer thumbnail to view and edit the group layer only. This way, I won't indirectly affect any of the other scene animations. Now that I'm inside the group layer, I can see how my button is organized. There are three layers that make up my animated button. I place my on-click animation at the top of the layer stack, which I've set so it does not appear until the 22nd mark. The middle layer is a basic nameplate that presents the user with a visual indicator, suggesting a button that can be clicked on. And the third and final layer is my iceberg, which being the largest piece of the button area to click on, I'll use to apply my actions to. I'll unlock my iceberg layer and select it. Then, I'll select my Actions tool from the toolbar and click on the Events tab so I can set my on-click event. Drag and drop the click event to the script stack area just above the Actions library, and you'll see it placed at the top, labeled Click on Iceberg 1. Now we just need to tell this click action to go to a specified point on the timeline to where I've created my on-click animation. In this case, it's the penguin jumping up onto the iceberg from our top layer. I'll first click on the Actions tab and drag and drop the Jump to Time action up to the script stack above. Then, since my penguin animation begins at the 22nd mark, I'll type the number 20 into the Jump to Time text field. Now my script stack reads, when the user clicks on Iceberg 1, the current timeline we're on will jump to the 22nd mark and continue to play from there. So now, we want to test our interactivity by publishing it and seeing if our script works properly. I'll go to my Publish settings at the top right of the editor and make sure it's set to HTML5 format, and check Autoplay and Loop On. Now, simply click on HTML5 to publish, and click the iceberg object to test it. And there you go! You can now continue this process with all consecutive button animations, and publish your interactive video.